Hey everyone, I'm Matt Harrell. I'm originally from Richmond, Virginia, and I moved here to San Marcos, Texas to, to go to grad school here at Texas State University. Um, I'm in the Student Affairs and Higher Education Master's program, and has granted me uh, this awesome position here at the LBJ Student Center. Mm -hmm. uh, I am the graduate assistant for leadership and programming here, and I've enjoyed every single day that I've worked here so far. So one of my favorite things that I get to do here at the LBJ Student Center is I do all the uh, leadership staff training uh, each semester. And uh, one of my uh, programs I do that dear and near to my heart is Clifton Strengths. Um, Clifton Strengths has really helped me out a lot when I was an undergrad. Um, I didn't quite have the self-confidence uh, that I have today. And I really give credit you know, to my strengths and being able to name them, you know, know what the, my strengths are claim them, you know, make them my own, um, and then aim them in the different areas of my life, rather it be school, rather it be working here, rather it be various other things I do in life. Um, to really, we live in a world, unfortunately, where we always focus on the negatives mm. uh, all too often. Uh, like, like when, you know, you're in elementary school, what did your parents focus on? The, the A's or mm. the, the, the D or the C? I'm here to tell you, hey, you don't, you know, be aware of your weaknesses, maybe the areas you're not uh, quite a, as profound in, but focus much more on the things you're naturally talented at and that give you joy in life. Yeah. So how was your transition period from your previous job to coming to work here? Well, because prior to this, I was a professional recruiter working for Capital One, mm -hmm. uh, working from home. Going from working in your room mm -hmm to go into a new state where you now work in a building where students are constantly around you. There's people always around you. And I'm a talker, but dang, my social, ba my yeah. social battery was drained. We, we made a few changes uh, because you know, someone with ADHD and I, and I want to be focused so I can help support the students, but I couldn't at first. Because if you look at my view, it, I see the whole, like the, the whole front of the university. So we moved these whiteboards here to kind of <laughs> to kind of hide me, to be honest, hide me from from other people, so that I could really focus on what I need to do. Um, but but yeah, so that like that that adjustment definitely took some time. Mm -hmm. um, but I cannot praise it enough because it's given me the opportunity. A lot of other GAs, uh, graduate assistants, don't have the opportunity to do, which is to be around their students all the time. How has Texas State slash the LBJ um, changed to you? Well, being here. Yeah, I'll say when I when I first moved here, you know, at a new town, new state, new mm -hmm. college, new job, uh, everything seemed so large. Each week, each month, each semester, it's kind of got gotten smaller, mm -hmm. and not in size. Obviously, nothing's changed in the building, but I know everyone. I know the custodians. I know the mm -hmm. creative suite. It's literally a, a huge university. And my, my mind when I first moved here has really turned into a very intimate one where it um, seems like it's, it's almost family. How do you feel about your time working and attending this school? I feel like I've, I've made, it's, it's hard to see if you've, you've truly made an impact on a student, but I've, I've definitely had some, some deep conversations with different students that, that I've, I've been lucky enough to work with and build that relationship with. Um, I mean, sometimes people just need to have a heart to heart, you know, it can it can really change a, a, the projection of a life. That's something that, that really matters to me is, is if I don't do anything in my career or here, but make a positive impact in the, the students of Texas State, then I'll be very happy. I mean, that's that's really if you were to get down to the, the meat and potatoes of why is Matt going back to school? Why is Matt going into the, the field of student affairs, it's just make an impact on our, on our, our students because really I love that 18 to 24 years old, that, that time frame where it's like the world's ahead of you, you can conquer anything and I, and I believe that people can, some people don't believe it yet so that's got to show them uh, right. that they can. Yeah. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah. Why did you choose to come here to Texas State? I came here mainly because of the student population. Um, I wanted to, to work with a, a different demographic of, of students, um, with it being a, minor, uh, a minority majority college. 
Um, I just wanted to experience a different culture, which um, <laughs> Texas definitely has its own culture. And yeah, I would stay here, you know, for quite a while if my, my family didn't already, you know, live in Richmond, mm -hmm. Virginia, yeah. And when it gets down to the bare bone and the nitty gritty of it is, I just love helping students, you know? I just love being able to help students in their development because um, it's something that I was afforded when I was an undergrad and it, it really helped me become a man I am today. So I'm just trying to, you know, I was, it was paid for to me, so I'm just trying to pay it forward to the next generation.